And so the Tigers coming up with the ball just outside their 22, played there by Maguire. Paul Sirinan out to the 32. Bridge. His kick going down to Walford. Not a good kick because St George have got. Uh, well, they've got six tackles and they're only five metres on their side of halfway. Burgess to play it. This is Guider. Third tackle there now, just into Balmain's area. This is Walsh. Nitton pulled down keenly by the Balmain players, Clark and Conlon. And now they're on their fifth tackle. There's a long ball goes out. Johns couldn't take it. It's uh, covered up there by Gartner. And this is Sirenen. On the Pat Hills stand side of the ground. Bridge. Myler. Long pass out to Conlon. Quick hands to Jack. Even quicker away to Gale. He puts on a little spurt. Walford has to chase him and brings him, brings him down and takes him into touch. Knocked down. Should be six more. Well, he's ruled that it was knocked backwards by the Saints. I'll tell you, it was knocked down by Balmain. It should have been six more. The raking kick by Young. Oh, hands went for it. And it's a line drop out to restart. And a pass by Guider infield. It was picked up by Conlon. Spread away now to Maguire, to Pierce. Here comes Schofield on the outside. They're over the halfway with uh, Wayne Pierce giving it to Gary Schofield. And Schofield is pulled down by Steve Morris down on the St George 32 metre line, away from Gartner to Bridge and onto Elias, he gives it to Myler, and Myler is away from one, he flicks it out the back, it's picked up by Makito, he crosses the 40 metre line, and he's tackled midway between 22 and halfway on the St George end of the field. Ball played by Makito, fed by Elias, it's with Clark now to the 32, a hand off to Elias and given to Bridge, a long ball for Conlon, Conlon to Schofield, Schofield cuts out Jack and oh, Gartner. Russell, you're entitled to catch that. Here's uh, Maguire. Turning it back for Clark. The Tigers looking dangerous. This is Schofield. Uh, it's gone out wide to Pierce, and Pierce is tackled. Nine metres out from the St George line. Benny Elias swings it to the right to Schofield. He cuts out Myler. He finds Russell Gartner. Gartner turns it inside for Schofield. Schofield flicks it out the back for Conlon. Conlon to Maguire. Back to Conlon. Now Elias. And Elias is tackled five metres away from the line. Five tackles gone. Elias kicking the ball ahead. And uh, it's going to be a St George play the ball. Fowler's got plenty of pace, but he probably elected to go the wrong way. Then he ran into a lot of St George defence. He had Gary Jack with him here and only the winger to beat. Oh, Serenin's put the ball down, picked up by Russ Gartner. And I'll tell you what, just as well he did, because there was a definite chance for St George if they had have been able to get possession on the advantage. There was a bit of... Uh, clear space in front of about two or three of them but Gartner was around on the opposite wing to the one that he's employed on tonight here's Lenane he's got the fullback to beat goes for the kick and he's come up with the football and Lenane will play the ball that's the first tackle he's restarted the tackle count played back to Walford it's gone over to Fafita now it's with Selby Selby gets it away it was touched by oh. Balmain and it's a penalty well, I would have thought that was raked back into the hands of Conlon. Oh, Conlon was offside for sure. No, definitely offside. That's the right decision by Barnes. It went forward off a Balmain hand and Conlon was standing there waiting for it. Well, the penalty has been given to the Saints and it's an absolute sitter. Oh, for sure. For sure, Conlon was offside. And his kick brings up the flag. So there they are, the first points in Tui's Monday Night Football. The Saints two, the Tigers yet to score. And there's Steve McCrory, the challenger for Jeff Fennick's title on Friday week. Tackle midway, 22 halfway on the Balmain end of the ground. Away now for Conlon, holds it back, gets it away for Schofield. Flick pass inside for Gartner, over the halfway, picks up Conlon. Conlon goes down inside the 32, the pass is forward. Well, he seemed to have ample time. You were there for opening night, of course, Bill, as the ball is played back to Benny. And away as it goes now to Gary Bridge. He puts the kick in. 
And it's Burgess coming outside the 32. He's making a good run, a run of about 25. He's over the halfway. He's got it to Walford. Gale's got him, though, in one stride and puts him to the ground about 15 metres out from the Balmain line. By Joe, there's plenty to enthuse about here at the cricket ground tonight. These two teams are really high-flying. They're throwing it about. And Favita is tackled 20 metres out from the Balmain line. From Morris to Lonane, this is Funnel. Clark hanging on with Elias over the top. Play right in the centre of the cricket ground. The Saints run towards the Randwick end and Morris does a 360 and he seemed to lose the ball. He's able to uh, regather. It's played and gone across to the blind. The Haddock, he holds it back, finds big Craig Young. Young, five metres out, holds it up. Siren and knocks on. No, he's knocked it backwards, he said. Now, the touch judges come in from the far side. Yeah, this, this was for a late tackle in the back play. This is the incident that has given St George the penalty. It was that tackle by Paul Sirenen on the St George runner. Quite an acute angle. About 20 metres in from the, the showground side. Gets it off the, uh, the mound very well. It's a goal. Another two-pointer to Michael O'Connor. The Saints lead the Tigers by four points to nil. Burgess fielding the ball and taking it back. First half tackles, 116 required by the Tigers, 79 by the Saints, and 21 Clark topping it for the Tigers. Oh, Joe, that's a, a big count for the prop. <laughs> Young did well, got it away to Haddock, then to Fafita, on to O'Connor. O'Connor stretching out, he's over the halfway, Gary Bridge has got him, but oh, that was a desperate tackle by Bridge. Over the touchline went the foot of Michael O'Connor. But Gary Bridge, he'd used every gear that he had in the gearbox, and he said, I've got to go now or never. I must admit, I thought this match would be a high-scoring affair tonight, but at the moment, you couldn't be any further from the truth. Big Siren and displaying all his strength as he carries the St George players. Well, that, that could have easily been a penalty to Saints there. Stupid stuff. No need for it. Not when you've got the football. Maguire to play it now. Back to Bridge and across to Makito. Elias taking it in, getting it away to Gale. Gale in and out and around, and he gets a pass away for Conlon. Conlon gets it on to Gary Jack, and Jack will score. That's a superb Balmain try. Oh, that was great stuff by the Tigers. Excellent work by Scott Gale. Beautiful stuff. Here's the Tui's replay. Marquito, he took them on, he got it away, Elias drew them, committed them, and then Gale went in and out and around, oh, he went every which way. And then Conlon came on the scene, and away it went out to Gary Jack, and Jack goes in to score in the old scoreboard corner of the Sydney Cricket Ground. You'll go a long way to see a better rugby league try than this one. I thought the St George defence hesitated a little bit. They held off when Marquito was caught in the tackle. They didn't realise he could get the ball away. He did, on to Gale, then on to Jack. That's a tremendous try. From on the 22, eight metres in from touch. Got it away all right. A little bit wide, though. And no goal, so it's four points all in Tui's Monday Night Football. Now it's Young. He's inside the 32-metre line, just. Last tackle now for the Saints. They've gone for it, charged down by Elias. It's six more tackles, picked up by Walford. Walford! Walford's gone inside the 22. Gary Jack brings him down with a great tackle. Five metres out from the Balmain line. Panic time for Balmain. Long ball out to Fafita. Fafita tries to do it himself. And he's tackled eight metres out from the line. Dummy half is Perry Haddock. He may switch the play. Young calls it. Young goes for the line. He's about four metres out. He'll play it back to Jeff Selby now. St George calling the ball to the right. Balmain have got four on the blind side. Two markers. So there's not many on the right, I wouldn't think. Lenane, O'Connor, he spirals out of a tackle, tries to do it again, and he's tackled 10 metres out from the Balmain line. Now's the time. Don't wait till the last tackle. Get the one point while you can. It's gone to Lenane, and he knocks on. 
Benny Elias comes up with the ball. Advantage roll applies. So there goes the pass to Lenane. He knew what he had to do with it. Would you be sitting up with a footy tab card for all draw? And you're sitting here telling everybody, go for a drop goal, son. <laughs> oh, Duckett has made a mistake down near his own line. Oh, what an embarrassing situation for the lad. He had it in his hand. He's tackled 11 metres out from the line. They must be on their fourth tackle now as it goes across to Benny Elias. Shapes for the drop goal, holds it back, gets swung around in merry-go-round fashion. He's five metres out on five as it comes to Schofield. A low pass out to Gartner. Gartner throws it out the back, intercepted by Haddock for St George. Do you have the four all? Oh, the name! He'll score, Bird. No, Gale's chasing it. Burgess has got the ball down. He's going to give it. And let's have a look at it on the head on replay now. As funnel it was, it was Wayne Pierce who missed him. He had him and let him go. And then the one-handed to Lenane. All we're waiting now to see, of course, is what happened when Burgess gets over the line. The kick by Lenane was a beauty. I thought Gale would win this race easily, but Burgess goes down over the line, and I'm blowed if I think he got it down sweetly. The flags are in the air, however, and a converted try is the final result. Saints leading the Tigers by 10 points to four. And there's the siren in the background. Chris Johns comes out from dummy half. He falls a metre short of the line. And that's all there is. There is no more. Saints defeating Balmain for the second time in their two meetings in the Winfield Cup. 33-18 the first round, 10-4 tonight. And Burgess the try for the Saints. O'Connor kicked three goals. And Gary Jack scoring the points for Balmain. This has been a Fox Sports production.